Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and uh, in this Vue.js 3 video tutorial, we will learn that how we can call a API. So, guys, if you don't know what is API, how it's actually work, then you can watch our previous video. Link is given in the description box. In that video, I describe that what is API, who actually make it, how we can test it, what are the API methods, and an example of API also, right? So if you have basic idea, then you can continue with that video. Otherwise you can watch our previous video also. So before starting with this video, I want to share some information with you. If you are looking to purchase domain name or hosting, then you can purchase it with domain racer and you will get multiple benefits. First thing is price are just started with a 59 rupees per month. Second thing is they will provide you light speed technology with the SST disk, free SSL certification and cPanel also right and there is a lots of other uh, features uh, and one more which is very important feature is they have a free website builder tool also this is the totally free of cost and if you are not familiar with the code then you can use that uh, that tool to develop your website and this is absolutely free of cost right so now let's come back and uh, let's start with the points of that video we need to install the Axios package so that we can call API. This, this is basically a API call helper. After that, we will test our API and uh, this is our API URL. I will provide you that URL in the description box also. So if you are uh, practicing with the uh, API, then you can use it. And uh, after that, I will make a function to call API and uh, dis uh, describe uh, property also so that you can just store this API data in that property and we can display here so let's start first of all uh, let's install the Axios package how we can install it this is a very simple you just uh, need to use the uh, npm command just use here npm i or npm install Axios and hit enter right so it will just take a moment within that time we can test our api so why we will test our apis so let's say you are just integrating the api but you are facing some issues so that time you might not be sure that you are just doing something wrong with that api or this api have uh, the error from the back end right that's why we must have to test the api so this is the get API for uh, user data. This is uh, basically dummy user data. And we can just uh, paste it here, our URL, and just click on a send button. Now you can see that we got the data here. We some uh, There is some other information also. But for a moment, you can ignore it because uh, we are just using that data. I will describe this data also in the upcoming videos. But as a front-end developer, we don't need to care about that data at a basic level at least right so uh, these are the old data so now api is also working fine so we are ready to go to uh, integrate this api and here you can see that package is also installed so i am just uh, closing that command and importing that package first of all so that it can help us to integrate api so just put here import something from Axios. So just put here and uh, just import this Axios package, right? And now I am using here mounted lifecycle method. As you know, this will be called whenever our uh, data is mounted with our uh, DOM, and uh, in here we can call our API. So let me take a variable. Let's say result. And uh, here I am just going to call axios dot get method, right? And here we can put our API URL, right? But keep in mind, whenever you will call API, you must have to make this function async because when we are calling API, it takes some time and this will return a promise. To handle this promise, we need async await. So just simply use async and make it await here, right? Now let's uh, get this URL from here to 
and pass it as a of parameter in a get so now let's just try to make a console.warn or console.log and check the result what we are getting in here in that so here you can see that we are getting data so we here we have config data headers and much more things but we just need header uh, data here we don't need headers at all right so we have a data property and inside data again we have a data property so how we can just get this proper data data result dot data dot data property and uh, now you can see that we are getting these six result great so let's store these result in any property. So I need to just define a property, take a data method, return, and just take a list property. By default, it can be a blank array. And now let's simply use here this dot list equal to result dot data dot data right so let's see everything is working fine yep there is a no issue so now how we can display this data so we can display it with the help of table we can display it with the help of uh, list and ul and li but in that video i will just make a simple p tag and uh, i will take a for loop with that in the upcoming video i will just display it in a table and ul li also because if I am just going to use here table and URLI, this video is going to be lengthy. So I am just going to take, take a P tag and closing it. Now here I can use here V for loop and uh, it can be like a item in list and uh, we can take a key also and it key it can be a like item dot id right so because it should be a unique so id is always unique we can use it and after that let's take a double curly braces put here item dot id and let's see what we are getting here so we you can see that we are getting the id and let's open it you can match it right this is working fine now so let me show here a email also so item dot email this is also working fine so i just want to maintain some space that's why i am taking here some spaces and uh, similarly i am taking again a first name here also first name so how do i know that it have the email first name and all because when i just console this data here you can see that i know that they there are the fields right so now we have the id email address and uh, here we have the name we can also use our uh, image tag to display the image and last name and all but we will do in the upcoming videos but because the purpose of this video is call ip and display some data and we achieved it right so in the next video we will just make a complete list with it with the images also so if you have any other query, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video.